Hi, I'm Fallon Berner. I'm the Assistant Research Historian at Colonial Williamsburg focusing on Indigenous histories. I'm out here today in our historic garden on Duke of Gloucester Street in the American Indian gardening plot. In the 18th century, these farms would have been much larger. We have an account even from the 17th century where it talked about these farming plots with three sisters agriculture being 100 acres or more. In the 18th century, Henry Timberlake mentions walking through these farms for an hour or more before reaching the other side. The three sisters crops are corn, beans, and squash. And that name comes from a lot of the Eastern Woodlands communities that have their own origin stories around these three crops because of their importance in the communities. This year we grew Tudelo strawberry corn, scarlet runner beans, and Maycock squash. These three crops together are kind of magical because with corn, beans, and squash, you could get enough nutritional content to have the protein and energy you need to last you for most of the year. You probably want some other things in there like fish and, and deer meat to keep you happy and healthy, but technically you could survive for a long time on just these three things. While a lot of Eastern Woodland communities call this the Three Sisters, and that comes from their origin stories, uh, the Saponi here actually have a story about corn being the woman and bean being the man, so kind of like a husband and wife scenario. Um, so one of the things that we tried was to stagger the planting this year because we have records that state different timings of planting throughout the eastern woodlands and even in Virginia. Was corn planted first? Were beans planted first? Were all three crops planted together? So we did a little experiment and in some of the mounds we planted all three together at the same time and in the other mounds we planted the corn first without the beans and then the beans afterwards. And actually the ones where all three were planted together turned out better, they fared better. Why is this? Because these three crops need each other. They support each other in ways that ensure that they're successful throughout the season, that they're the most vital, um, the most nutritious. The corn shoots up first, the bean's gonna climb that corn and support that corn as the wind is blowing it around. And then squash comes in to cover the ground, locking the moisture in and helping to keep down weeds. Um, the beans are nitrogen fixing as well to the soil. So we did think it was kind of funny that, that the crop that we planted where the corn was first without the beans didn't fare as well. It was almost as if the wife wasn't doing so well without her husband. We have other indigenous crops in this plot as well. This year we're growing sunflowers, which are used for pest control, but also they're edible, right? We're gonna eat those seeds. Uh, we have prickly pear cactus and we also have muscadine grapes. Next year, we plan on growing this garden again, probably also with corn, beans, and squash, but we may experiment with different varieties of corn, bean, and squash and try out some new indigenous Virginia plants. So stay tuned, stick around, check us out next year, see what we've got going on and come back and see us.